Novel H1N1 flu. This terrible outbreak of Ebola. The development of vaccines and therapeutic treatments for the coronavirus. We don't want to wait for the next pandemic to hit to start taking care of people, right? We want to find where they're going to be, get our resources there, and save lives before they're even endangered. Geospatial is a complex word. All it means is data on a map. So if you've ever seen a map with data on it, like a map of the United States that shows the states, that's geospatial. Geospatial AI just means we're using artificial intelligence on a map to analyze the differences between different areas of, of the country of the world. Geospatial AI can tell us where we're seeing problems or where we may be seeing problems in the near future. So that'll tell us not only where we need to respond, but where we don't need to respond, where we can shift resources and how different problems, whether it's opioid versus maternal health, whether it's infectious disease versus extra heat in the summertime, where the problems are so that we can protect people as they need it. The applications of geospatial AI in public health are as broad as public health itself. So that does include things like the overdose epidemic, maternal and child health, extreme heat in the summertime where we're seeing a lot of people suffer heat stroke and exacerbation of chronic disease simply because the temperatures are hotter than we expected. But all of those can be addressed by geospatial AI based solutions. Technology is always a tool. How will public health change is how do we want it to change? We can use the tool, geospatial AI, to change public health, but we get to decide what we want the future of public health to be.